today's Learning Through Play is all about baking. Baking with your older toddler mixes together literacy, math, art, and sensory experiences in a recipe for early learning success. Now, baking with your older toddler presents so many opportunities for your child to learn and practice location and position words like in, out, up, down, above, and below. It's also great practice at measurement words like big and heavy and full and empty. It also gives them great practice for understanding how much, one or two, more or less, a little or a lot, and that's toddler math. And when your toddler helps you spoon and scoop and sift dry ingredients or roll out dough, they develop strength and coordination in their little hands, fingers, and arms that's going to be great when they learn to write or later on when they're learning to tie their shoes or pour liquids without spilling. And of course, if you're talking, explaining and describing as you go, their vocabulary and ability to express themselves is going to grow faster than a yeast dough left out to rise on a warm stovetop. If you're not sure you want to try cooking with a toddler, you're not alone. And remember, the key to success when cooking with young children is to keep it simple. Make safety your first concern, but there are plenty of things they can do that don't involve sharp knives or a hot surface. Why, they can help fill and pour, they can sift to dry ingredients, they can snip, tear, and knead and roll. With a little coaching and practice, they'll even learn to crack eggs and cut softer foods with a child safe knife. Cooking experiences with a 24 to 36 month old should be kept short and simple. Make sure they're working at a comfortable height, so give them a low table, a step stool, or a booster seat. Prep, prep your ingredients beforehand and lay out your tools before you start, and then stay calm and let go and let them dry. Don't expect perfection and don't cook with anything you would want them to wouldn't want them to put in their mouth, so no raw meat or eggs, but do let them taste as you go. Adapt so that you're not telling them no too often. It's okay if they don't like messy fingers or if they lose interest. Expect and prepare for extra time and mess. You'll find that the benefits far outweigh the extra time and effort. They're sure to make mistakes and a mess, but the learning is worth it. And again, like that dough, they're sure to rise to your expectations. If you want to know more about cooking with your toddler, you can find the Tickle Fingers Cookbook and lots of other great kid cookbooks at the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. But if you're still not sure that you or your child are ready for actual cooking, you can offer them Play-Doh instead. It offers the same benefits without the mess or frustration of cooking. So purchase Play-Doh or look online for recipes. You can find Play-Doh recipes that might be a little bit softer when they're beginning or that are scented for extra sensory experience. Play-Doh recipes that are designed to harden as the dough dries or Play-Doh recipes that don't have ingredients that your child might be allergic to. And while you're online, look for printable Play-Doh mats. You can find lots of different varieties, so you might find one that is a garden and your child can decorate it with the flowers they might make out of Play-Doh, or houses, or a face, or as I found, a gingerbread man. Again, they can practice those location words and they'll remember maybe next time that the eyes are above the nose, which is above the mouth, and they can count how many buttons they want to put on. They can roll out balls or snakes and they might um, use cookie cutters where they can learn letters and numbers or shapes. It's all wonderful learning and um, if you're right there with them, 
learning and talking and playing. They're also going to learn how much you love and support them. Thanks for watching.